Hi, I'm Atul and I am based in East London. Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm based in South West London. Today, I'm going to show you a game that I play with um, my students when we're learning about decimals. Um, this game is really good because it helps them build up an image of what a decimal is and where it is placed on a number line. So, what we need for this game is two 10-sided dice. Have you got those at all? Yep. Great. Well, let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get four crosses in a row without any of them being blocked by our opponent. We need a number line between 0 and 10 with all the whole numbers marked off. And then we roll the dice. We've got two dice, so we're going to create a one decimal place number. So Atul, would you like to start and roll your dice? Yep, here they are. I've got a four and a zero. So... We can either make the number 4.0 or 0 0.4. Now, it's entirely your choice which of those two numbers you choose. And can you choose one and place it correctly on the number line for me? I'm going to go for 4.0. And also write the number. Right. Perfect. Now it's my go. So I've got an 8 and a 2. So my choices are 8.2 or 2.8. So I think that I will choose 8.2 for this go. So about here. OK, Ethel, over to you. Can't be 4 and 0 again, but it is. So because it's the same numbers, you cannot use 4.0, so you're left to use 0 0.4. That makes it easy. I've got four, 0 0.4, which is roughly around there. Great, now my go. I've got a 6 and an 8. So what numbers could I make with a 6 and an 8? Uh, 6.8 or 8.6. Good. 8.6. I think that I will go with my 8.6. So at the moment, both of us have got two crosses in a row. Remember, the winner is the person with four crosses in a row. Over to you. Four in a row. Okay. Um, that is a 5 and a 2. So what are your two numbers you can make? 5.2 or 2.5. Great. And which one do you want to use? I want to get four in a row. So ooh, I'll go for 2.5. Okay, so you've got three in a row at the moment. So I want to try and block you mm -hmm. to stop you from winning or extend my options. So I've got a five and a five. So my only option is 5.5. 5. So five five. Okay, now depending on what you throw, depends on whether you win the game Mm. or extend it a bit longer yes of course okay let's see what happens i've got an eight and an eight so your only option is 8.8 .8. oh dear okay <clears throat> so i won't be winning well you might win it depends what happens next oh okay well 8.8 .8. let's go there so now I have a chance to win. I've got a zero and a three. So what are my options? 0 0.3 or 3.0. Doesn't look like I can win this time. But what I can do is go here to make it harder for you to win. Smart, yeah. Okay. 
blocked where the block is. There's the block. There is the block. You. There is the block. Okay. I will keenly roll again. Got a nine and an eight. Nine. So what are your options? Nine point eight or eight point nine. Hmm. Mm, uh just gonna go for let's go for nine point eight all the way there. Okay, let's see if I can roll a winning winning go. What a seven and a one. What are my options? One point seven or seven point one. Now for this game, I would be really silly not to choose seven point one. So yeah. here I would mark off seven point one. Because I've got four crosses in a row and you haven't blocked me at all, I am the winner. Ah, Yes, there you are. Four in a row. So sometimes this game can go on for ages and ages, and other times it's over really, really quickly. But what it's really doing is t ensuring that the children understand that we've got the whole number and then part of a number, which is represented with our tenths, and relating that to whereabouts on the number line we actually find it. And it's really interesting because often they get quite confused, and it's a, a really good way of checking out what they do know, what they really understand, because they can all say, oh, 1.7 means one whole and seven tenths. Mm. But actually, they don't always really have a very good concept of what it really means. And this is a fun way of finding out what it really means. No, it's absolutely great. And the fact that it's it's to scale and it's a, it's a, very, it's a very strong visual for decimal place value. Uh, uh, for for those uh, yeah tenths and holes um, yeah it's a, it's, a, it's a really great way of just checking any misconceptions and simultaneously building how far along the number line you should place that um, decimal number effectively yeah yeah and the other thing I do is I adapt it so I actually just extend the number line between naught and one and have tenths written down and then we roll two dice but this time every number is zero point something something and use it that way as well and again it really highlights what part of the number is tenths and that the hundredths are much smaller right yeah and presumably we can just continue that for even smaller ones the hundredths and the thousands um, potentially yes i've never tried it though <laughs> right okay but but equally, you could go the other way around. Surely, you could just go from a, a zero to a hundred number line and just do two-digit whole numbers as well. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, I use it for decimals, but actually, it can be adapted for many different different ways. Fantastic game, really versatile. Um, yeah, look forward to um, the next in uh, this series of videos. Perfect. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye for now. Bye.